What's up, YouTube? We are in Vegas. <laughs> so anticlimactic. I thought you were going to celebrate. <laughs> Woo! Here's our view. Amazing. So stunning. We are staying at the Mirage, which is right on the strip in Vegas. So we're really excited. This is a beautiful hotel. I'm gonna see if I can get some shots. Or maybe I already showed you guys some shots of the hotel. I don't know. But we're super excited to be here. It was a crazy day yesterday. We were supposed to fly out of Michigan at 7.45 p.m., which would put us in Vegas at 9 p.m. It's a four hour flight, but like the time difference meant that we would get here at 9 p.m. And our flight ended up getting delayed until 10 p.m. Michigan time. I think we finally left at like 10.30. And we got to Vegas at like midnight? No, 11 o'clock Vegas time, which was like 2 a.m. Michigan time. So we were exhausted. By the time we finally fell asleep, it was like 3.30 a.m. Michigan time. So we had been up for almost 24 hours. Super sucky. And then we only slept in until 6.30 Vegas time today because that was 9.30 Michigan time and we can never seem to sleep in past that. Why am I telling you guys? Oh, this is good. Who cares? But we had a breakfast buffet. I should have, that's what I should have taken some footage of. It's a buffet, you guys. It was nuts. They had everything. Like they had a make your own omelet bar. They had like pastries and donuts and muffins and cookies. They had pizza for breakfast. I wonder if it was cold pizza. Should have checked. But okay, we're going to head out on the strip. But yeah, heading out for the day. All right, so we stepped outside of our hotel and literally right next door was the forum shops of Caesar, I wanna say. This place is stunning. I, I have no words. It's beautiful, it's mostly high-end retail, but there's some other stuff mixed in, but this is just like an experience, you guys. So lunch is not very exciting because I think I mentioned I've been on a round of antibiotics so my stomach is like not in the best place right now which sucks because I'm in Vegas and I want to eat junk food but I can't so I'm eating this chicken salad. It looks pretty good. It's chicken with parmesan cheese and ranch and veggies so it's good. I'm excited. It's going to be good. What did you got? I got a Hawaiian barbecue sandwich sub type thing. Hawaiian barbecue? Yes. Is um, that like barbecue sauce and pineapple? Yes. And chicken and ham from Earl Earl of Sandwich. Nice. Okay, we're kind of just like hopping around from hotel to hotel because these hotels are just beautiful, you guys. Like walking through the hotels in and of itself is so entertaining. So right now we're in the Bellagio, which, fun fact, is Amanda Latona's favorite Vegas hotel. Why do I know that? I don't know. They have this huge botanical gardens situation. It's beautiful. I'll just show you. Guys, it's my birthday. Matt wants to film him giving me this particular gift. 
while I cuddle one of my other gifts, which is a furry blanket because I love furry blankets and they're always so expensive and so I never get them and so he got me one for my birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> what? Hold on, first let's show the cover of whatever this is. Is this a book? Yes. And it's got Instagram photos on it. Not just Instagram photos. I went to your followers and made a post and they all wished you a happy birthday. So I got like a 160. How did you get these? I took over your account for the night. <laughs> did you send messages? No, I made a post and these are all the comments. How did you take over my account? I posted something at night. On Instagram? Yes. Ask him. And then like deleted it? Yes. <laughs> You just have random photos of me throughout. <laughs> this is so sweet. There's all these people that I know. Some of my clients are in here. Oh my gosh, there's a million pages. How many comments were in here? 160. And a night. You guys. What the heck? It's so sweet. There's 160 of them? Mm -hmm. Comments from people who are wishing me a happy birthday. And best wishes. And, and best wishes. Oh, So, so freaking sweet. Thank you guys. This, this is, I'm just, I have no words. Alright you guys, we're at show Showcase Mall? Yes. This is what it looks like. It's like a different part of Vegas. This isn't like the main strip, I think. I think we're staying on the main strip and this is like a block or two over. There's husband. So we just took our first Uber ride. <laughs> I'm so frustrated because like I just didn't understand the app. I didn't understand how to use the app. I was really annoyed by it. So we finally find our Uber driver and like I'm just like not. I'm like, I'm just irritated <laughs> and so we get in the car and Matt just making conversations he's like so how long have you been driving the uber and he jokes about how he's like oh just a few minutes like I just stole this car from somebody at a 7-eleven so we gotta go I was like it's a terrible thing to joke about when I'm getting into a car with a stranger but uh yes so we're at showcase mall there's a hard rock cafe here there's a Ross dress for we're going to Ross mm -hmm. and yeah just gonna hang out for my birthday. Birthday dress, birthday husband, birthday lipstick from Inglot that I bought yesterday. And okay, let's go. I'm in them world with the different color M&Ms. I'm tempted to get just like a pound of red because red is the best flavor of M&Ms. Don't fight me on it, it's just true. started dating he didn't believe me that the red M&M's were the best flavor of M&M's. They have some more M&M's now? Yeah, so Hold up. Okay. Anyway, and so he took a test where he took a bunch of M&M's and he made me close my eyes and he fed them to me one by one and I had to guess when I was eating a red M&M and you guys, I got it perfectly. I got it perfectly every time because the red M&M's do taste different. They taste better. I want red. I don't know how to do this. We're going to find out. Alright, 
We're back in the hotel room. I just want to try these M&M's really quick. To let you know what I think about the s'mores M&M's. Looks like they're like, I don't know if I can show this very easily. <laughs> so they're like yellow, brown, and like a burnt red color. And there are different shapes than normal M&M's. They're like weird. I don't know, but I'm going to try them. Taste. First of all, there's something in them. I assume that's like graham cracker or some sort. They're good, but they're not as good as just plain red M&Ms. And why are red the best? I don't know. But they are. Walking around in the Vegas sun, even though we're like going in and out of stores and stuff, it just like exhausts you. Like I can't do it for more than two or three hours before just feeling like like I'm just gonna pass out. So it's 1.30 now. We have dinner at Scarpetta for my birthday tonight at 6 p.m. So I think we're just gonna like chill here a little bit and then maybe go down to the pool in the 107 degree blazing sun. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, hello, today is Wednesday? Yes. Yeah, so day three of our vacation-ish, four, I don't know. Um, I just found this really cool thing. It's an Instagram photo booth printer and it prints your photos off right now. So we're just, I just wanna, I just wanna see what this does. Let's just do this. There you go. So it's $4 for two photos, $5 for four photos, or $10 for 10 photos. I'm probably gonna do 10 photos, if that's okay with you. Mm -hmm. I just had some fun photos. I guess that one, because that was so Vegas. Uh, so is that one? I like, no, it's not a special photo. Me and Kitten! What? Okay, I'm posting this picture right now, mostly because I want to be able to print it. So you guys are just going to have to see it on my Instagram account. There it is. Now. Yes. So, oh, I get it. So you can do that or you can do it with the post. Oh, we need to, oh, we need to pay. <laughs> uh, I'm excited. They're just these little photos. That's awesome. I like this thing. Highly recommend. Oh, 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 oh,